Addressable TV is definitely that next step of the bridge between digital and television. Digital has always been known for its highly hyper-targeting capabilities. And now, Addressable TV lets that large screen in the living room deliver that same hyper-targeted message to a very specific set of households. Advertisers are helping to deliver content, sponsored content, that's been around. The notion that people do not want to see advertisements, I personally feel is a little misguided. You'll see a message if it's relevant to you. If you don't own a pet, you're right, you don't want to see pet food commercials. But if you do own one, you want to hear about it. You want to know about the latest deals, specials, and so forth. So if the message is on target with the subscriber and the viewer, they'll enjoy watching your content, as long as you're telling a, a compelling story. The future of addressable TV is just continuing to grow scale and to continue to develop that relationship on a more one-to-one -one relationship where it's not the certain subset of the advertisements, but it's the majority of the advertisements going to that subscriber's household. For years, brand marketers have known who their target is, figured out ways to reach that targeted consumer. What Addressable does is prove whether you're hitting the right target or not. <clears throat> and the ROI model uh, and matching back from a viewership exposed to an ad to completing that circle on whether or not did they make the purchase, because that's what it's all about. Did they become a consumer? Did they buy your product? And making the investment in that back-end analysis is what truly is defining addressable TV.